Hello everyone. My name is Mr. Sandesh Parekh. I am currently working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at the uh, Bachchan Institute of Technology, Solapur. In this video session, I am mainly going to cover the two topics which are run length encoding and the compression of the image. Okay, the techniques for use for the compression of the image and the detailed algorithm means we have to understood the algorithm regarding the image compression so what will be the outcome of this video session so let us focus on that once uh, at the end of this session uh, you will be able to explain the size of the images is uh, reduced using the compression techniques like uh, run length encoding algorithm means how particular image will be reduced and how the optimal memory is used for to store the particular image you can able be explained to this so uh, let us start with the topic that is run length encoding as the name itself suggests it is about the encoding of the run length so what is the run length see basic task is to compress the image it means what we have to reduce the memory which is required for the storing of the particular Im image means we should not decrease the quality of the image we should not hamper the quality of the image but we have to reduce the size which is required to store the particular image so how we can do that using this run length encoding so what is run length encoding it takes the advantage of the image coherence now what is the image coherence okay image coherence means what uh, in the particular image uh, there are multiple pixels on the image otherwise we can say that uh, a particular area in the image which is holding the same color okay it means it is holding the same properties it is holding the same characteristics of the pixels means all the pixels in that particular area which is of the same image uh, means sim within that area are holding the same values means for every pixel the values will be same in that particular area of the image so it is called as the image coherence so it is nothing but it specifies the number of successive pixels okay with the same entity it means what instead of storing every pixel value independently okay we can store the value and the number of adjacent pixels which are holding that value understood means the particular value and the number of successive pixels which are holding the same value it will be described so this information is uh, sufficient to uh, describe about the image okay so you can see the format of the encoded data the first column is the intensity and the number of pixels which is holding the same intensity it the number is defined by the run length so as you can see the image in that you can see the yellow part is there okay which is uh, used to show particular image on the screen okay so how we can mm -hmm. store the image uh, in this format just we have to store the starting and ending index of the particular pixel in that particular scan line okay as you can see on the right side for the row one okay there is only one pixel which is of the yellow color it means we have to display that only one pixel so only one value is folded there instead of storing each and every value of the pixel in that scan line we can store just a pixel which we need to show it on the screen or which we need to on on the screen okay but it may be in the range 
as uh, we can see uh, go to the row number 2 there are two pixels which are holding the again same characteristics at that time the starting and ending index of that pixels which starting index and the ending index of the particular scan line which are on in position in which you have to display of the color okay why uh, here we are talking about the monochromatic display okay we are displaying uh, the only color it means the image of the black and white part okay only two colors are there so we have to store only the one value that is it is on or off by default it is off okay so by using the starting and ending index of the particular scan line we can show that which pixel should be marked as on and which pixel should be marked as off okay so uh, now we have seen monochromatic display now we will talk about the color display okay uh, in monochromatic display we have to just store what whether particular pixel is on or off we have to store uh, index values of the starting index and ending and uh, according to that we have to display particular image but uh, what about the color display in the color display the pixel is on but of the different color understood means uh, we have to display particular pixels on the screen on the scan line but they may hold the different colors isn't it so we have to differentiate between the monochromatic and color display so what happens the ideal compression of uh, run length encoding should be less than one okay means after compression the size must be reduced okay the ratio between the non-compressed image to the compressed one should be less than one it means the right size should be reduced after the compression otherwise the uh, run length encoding will not be considered as the correct one and uh, size of the memory which is required to display that particular image okay so uh, as we see the compression technique in the previous diagram okay uh, for one pixel it is holding only one value and one uh, certain ranges are there then for every range on the scan line we have to store the two indexes starting and index ending index okay so according to the frames different frames and the different images on that frame the size of the memory which is required to store that image it may be vary so uh, format of the encoded data in the color display is in this manner that means uh, the number of successive pixels which are holding the same characteristics and after that the rgb values okay it means red intensity green intensity and the blue intensity so it is the combination of the rgb values and that combination is used for the uh, number of adjacent pixels we have to store that so uh, using this rgb values there are number of colors are there which denotes this means for zero value of the rgb it means the black one and uh, certain ranges are there uh, 100 zero zero is for red 010 zero for green 001 for blue okay 110 one for yellow 011 one one for can 101 one for mangata and triple one means white so in this format the different particular images the values of the colors are used in this three bit plan format so problem statement for these uh, in most of the images uh, there is bulk of the portion which is having the same color that is all pixels residing in the region holding the same value of the color so it is waste of memory to store this same value of the color for all the pixels residing in that particular region so by minimizing the storage of this type we can compress the particular image one question is there for guys uh, that what can be limitations of the run length encoding method and uh, in image compression technique so there are uh, some situations means uh, where v does not contain any bulk data where all pixels hold the same color at that time the efficiency of the run length method decreases because what happens the particular image is containing successive number of on and off bit are there suppose okay then for that uh, particular situation the as i said earlier that 
for, for the particular value we have to store the starting index and ending index value okay but if suppose there is one pixel on and one pixel off and this pattern is going on successively so for every pixel we have to store two values so uh, efficiency is decreased by 50 percentage here okay means instead of storing one value of the pixel color for one index you have to store two values as a range of the index so it should not be happen so it is the uh, drawback of this runless encoding technique so as i said earlier uh, it is the one image we have to see this okay there is a uh, lining uh, black and white color linings are there okay uh, one pixel is black one pixel is white again one pixel is black and white okay so uh, as you can see on the right side okay there are 15 number of pairs are there okay which are holding this four bits means one in one means the black one and next run length is one and again zero means white and the run length is one so for every pixel we have to store the two values here so it should not be happen it if uh, then uh, compression is not considered as the efficient in this case at least because uh, the normal image if you store in the memory then the frame will contain only one pixels one value either it is one or zero okay so what happened the non-compressed image is holding the half size but the compressed image will contain the double size so it should not be happened so in this case efficiency is decreased by 50 percentage so in this manner the encoding will happen as you can see eight a bits are there then five a bits and lastly two c bits are there so it is compressed a is holding say eight value b is five and c is two so these are some references i used to make this video thank you